If you are standing, please sit down. If you are sitting, please stand. No, I'm just teasing. If you want to come on in, if you're still out there, have a seat. I'm really, really excited that you're actually here, right? We've had an amazing event, and so now we're at the last session on the last day. And the last thing that you want to hear is me talking, I'm sure. Um, so I'll keep it short, I promise. Um, and as Chris Davenport mentioned in his session earlier, which I really liked, was you may snore as you sleep as long as you don't disturb someone else. And if I start snoring, we have a problem. So I was asked to talk about Joomla Together. And I do want to talk about Joomla Together, but I think what I'd like to kind of expand upon a bit is maybe some new ideas. And so I think it's a good reward. You've made it through the whole event. You didn't skip out early. You came to the last session. I want to maybe put forth some radical ideas. And some may be radical, some may not be. I don't have a lot of them. But I want to share a couple of thoughts, maybe even just to get you thinking, and then get you out of here. So, without any further introduction, maybe I should give you a little bit of introduction. Um, my name is David Hurley, and I'm the Community Development Manager for Joomla. I assume most of you already know that. So, I'm not speaking as a Joomla representative, okay? These radical ideas are my ideas. They have no influence on the project as a whole. This is not coming from any sort of leadership position, so don't get the wrong idea. Um, so, let's start with maybe a little bit of fun. Maybe the first thing we should do with Joomla is rename it. Why don't we go with something, I don't know, like Jamba? Um, we're very concerned with backwards compatibility, right? We want to make sure that we're always paying attention to where we've been and maybe not so much where we're going. So maybe we should just actually do that with our name as well, right? And maybe if we kind of reference some of our history and our name, um, we're keeping backwards compatibility. So obviously I'm just teasing. I, I really, this isn't a radical idea. Um, but some of the radical ideas that maybe I would like to see um, would be to rave. And by rave, I mean spread Joomla. How many in here uh, have heard of Joomla? <laughs> Excellent. I'm so excited because if you had not, we failed for the last how many, three days? Four days, maybe longer? But the question is, outside of the Joomla sphere, where we have our Joomla Day events and we have our Joomla user groups, how much do we talk about Joomla? And how do we rave about it in just the general community? I think it, it's not so much a radical idea as something that we should probably put a little bit more focus on and let's tell others about how amazing our product is. We see other CMSs that present and really attack, I guess, in, in some sense, the, the general community with their ideas on their products. And I think perhaps it's time we step up and do more of that ourselves. Get outside of communicating with our Joomla user groups and our Joomla days, and maybe push the effort forward a bit more in the general population. Because in the, in the reality, we've got a way better product, right? What we're working on and the community that drives what we have is vastly superior than the other ones that are out there. Thank you. <laughs> so that's my first true radical idea. Secondly, restructure and unify teams. As we grow as an organization, um, we find more and more things in which we need to get involved in. We find more and more areas in which we need to um, have a presence in. Um, and, and 
as a whole, Joomla's done a fantastic job of identifying areas where uh, we need to pay more attention and then finding volunteers that would work in those areas. And it's been fantastic. But when an organization gets larger and more and more teams begin to get formed, sometimes it can be a little bit hard to keep track of everything, right? And so sometimes it's important that we maybe take a step back a bit and we restructure just a bit and we make sure that there's good communication going on between all the various areas and making sure that everybody kind of is at least a little bit on the same page. We have a general overall vision moving forward. We can present that. So when we go to rave, when we go to spread that to others, we have a general plan of how we're presenting what Joomla is, what it can do, and how it rocks. So restructuring teams, maybe not a drastic restructure, of course, and, and maybe it's not even so much restructuring as it simply is making sure that we communicate effectively within the organization, within all the various teams. And it's not that we're doing something poorly. So m the point is not that we have a problem, we need to fix it. The point is more of staying actively aware of, yes, we're growing, we're becoming larger, we're having more and more areas in which different people can be involved. And as long as we're aware of that, we can make sure that we're communicating effectively between each of those teams and each of those groups. So that if someone comes to you and wants to know how to, they can help out with something else, you at least have a general idea of where to point them. Recognize and reward work. It's not so much a radical idea as just something that I think I would love to see us do even more as, as a community. Oftentimes, the goal is to get more people involved, right? And that's even what I said in the first slide, is we want to get more people involved. But we don't want to neglect the ones that have got us to where we are and continue to work in the project. And it's important, I think, that we recognize those achievements, that we recognize the time and the effort that they're putting in so that everyone knows how valuable they truly are. When you get into a large community, oftentimes it can feel that you're just a single person and there's not much you can do. But getting involved and having someone else maybe reach out to you and let you know that you've done a great job and what you do has value rewards someone for their time. So I, I often think that one of the best things that I love to do is to find someone that's done something, that's done something for Joomla, and they're not really thinking much about it, they're just doing their part, and thank them for it. It goes a long way with people. Relate and share knowledge. We all have different areas of expertise. We can all contribute to Joomla in different ways. We need to be able to relate that knowledge to others so that not just by yourself are you working on your area and um, focusing on just those things that you do, but you share that information with others. One of the ways in which I see that we have some opportunity with this um, is in specific regards to um, speaking and the opportunity to go out and to present at Joomla events um, and in the general community and sharing that knowledge. So relating and taking advantage of those areas that you're familiar with and that you're um, an expert in and sharing that with others and, and being willing to step up and be a speaker. There's some awesome ideas that I've heard uh, that we've discussed as far as how we can better present that so that maybe if you're starting up a new Joomla day and you don't really know how to contact people that can come and speak and make sure that they're speaking on subjects that will be beneficial to your attendees, um, if there's a central resource for you to be able to find those people, um, gives you a lot of immediate opportunity to know who you can contact, know that they're going to be well-spoken in their subject material. And yesterday, um, I think Brian had mentioned something else that was a little bit similar as well, where 
you're able to mentor others. And the opportunity to speak, maybe even if it's not speaking in a group setting, because not everyone's comfortable with that. I hate it. Um, and that's actually the truth. I do this because I love this product. I love what Joomla is. I'm not a public speaker. So maybe that's not where you're comfortable, but you are in a one-on-one -on -one situation. A mentor-type program, like what Brian had mentioned yesterday, gives you that opportunity. It gives you the ability to share what you know with someone else. So lastly, and I do mean lastly because I don't want to stand up here any longer than I have to, uh, lastly is react. Do something. You hear me stand up here and give you ideas and say, you know what, we can do this and we can do this. Um, Joe Joomla this morning presented a great opportunity to share your radical ideas. And you can go on to uh, his blog, and he's got an article there where you can list what you think some radical ideas are. Um, he didn't know I was going to talk about this. I didn't know he was going to present that. But react. Nobody has bad ideas. We have different ideas. Don't just sit back and say, what can Joomla do for me? As that American expression goes, but what can you do for Joomla? What can you contribute? How can you become more involved? How can you get others more involved? So I share ideas not because, um, not because I want you to think about them and I want you to analyze what I'm presenting as these are radical ideas. No, I just had to come up with some slides, make them have all beginning with the letter R, um, be able to talk for a little bit of time about it. The real point is I want you to do something. I want you to think up what do you think the future of Joomla should be? Uh, and you don't even have to make it start with the letter R. You can use any letter you want and just come up with ideas for how we can improve Joomla and where we can take it next and what makes us the best and how do we continue to be the best. So I'll leave you with a quote. It says, to be truly radical is to make hope possible rather than despair convincing. I want the community to understand and feel that what we have is incredible and what we have going forward, our future is bright. We've got so many opportunities and where we are right now, the momentum is just growing and growing and growing and who knows what's going to come next. I don't know what's going to come next and individually you don't know what's going to come next, but working together we have the opportunity to make hope possible, to go after those radical ideas that we set for the future of the Joomla project and to accomplish something. So thank you. I would like to mention a couple of things really quick. For those of you that were involved in the bug squash session the other night, that was awesome. We had, I think, <laughs> yes, yes. If you go on GitHub, and as you know, I'm a pretty big fan of GitHub. I spend a lot of time there. If you go on GitHub, you'll see a pulse as the first button on the toolbar. It's all the way to the left. And if you go under the Joomla CMS repository and you click on the pulse, you can see for the last 24 hours what's happened and what's gone on in Joomla. And you'll see, I forget how many uh, commits that there were. We had thousands of additions and uh, deletions and code improvements. Um, I think possibly maybe the most that I've ever seen at a single event. It was awesome to be in that room. We can do that again and again and again. Um, so that was incredible. I had a great time with that. Uh, we were up extremely, extremely late or very early, however you want to look at that. Um, one more thing. Uh, I was excited to hear this, um, that we have a resource available, a single copy of a resource available for the official Joomla book, second edition, and I'm supposed to figure out a way to auction this off. Um, I will make this uncomfortable for you because I'll say, 
I want to hear someone with a hand up that will say, what is a radical idea? And there's no wrong answers. So anyone that has an idea for what you think Joomla can do differently or better or new in the future. If you want to copy this book, if nobody wants it, I'm going to keep it because I gave several ideas. Yes. Yes. Organize a rave. So if you couldn't hear that, the idea was. So we have a worldwide Joomla rave disco party. Love it. So that's actually extreme. You're welcome. Thank you. That's an awesome idea, right? I mean, each Joomla day is a bit of one of those, but we work awful hard at these events, right? I mean, we have to go to all these different classes, and we're trying to learn things, and there's everybody that we want to talk to. Yeah, just a party. No obligations. No classrooms. Just a DJ and music. I love it. I love it. So that's the kind of thing. I mean, let's come up with just what can we do that makes us amazing? Um, so yeah, one more thing, one more thing. Um, Robert informed me just a bit ago and gave me an opportunity to share this, I believe. Is that correct? If you had a good time here, um, how about a round of applause for the hard work that everybody's put into this event? But if you really, really, really enjoyed it, the best thing is to come back, right? So, in case you can't see that, and to make sure that the video can, uh, J and Beyond 2014, it's going to be at Bad Naham, which I have a horrible time saying. May 30th through June 1, and uh, it's going to be, if this is a, a, a 10 out of 10, that's probably going to be an 11 out of 10. It's going to be a phenomenal event. So if you enjoyed this event, and I know you did because you all just clapped and said it was so great, set your date, set your calendar now so that you're ready for that. Yeah. And if you're also interested, uh, we have our corporate sponsors and our other company sponsors that have helped make this event possible. Um, I think maybe it's probably beneficial to give them a good hand because they have done a lot to make sure that we could uh, be able to finance this. And you see how awesome it is that they're in all the rooms and everything. So if you own a company or if you just want to help sponsor the event for next year, it's never too early to get started planning and budgeting the money to do that. Okay? So with that, uh, I will turn it over to Robert, and I'm all done.